Hello everyone, my name is Phil and welcome to another tech review and tweak guide. This time we're looking at another GOG.com game, Tomb Raider, the first one. And I'm having all sorts of issues on my Windows 8.1 machine with NVIDIA graphics card. But it's actually really easy to uh, fix and get it going. So don't get frustrated, it's really quite simple. But before we uh, get into the tweaks, we're just going to run the game um, just like it was installed and we have a look what the issues actually are. So here we can see that the video um, it's very it's like a thumbnail and it's uh, very small. So let's press escape. Um, there should be uh, that's the 3 d effects splash splash screen. Oh, same here, a little tiny screen. Let's go new game and see what happens. And at this point we get a black screen. Um, what you can do, you can press Alt Enter to toggle between uh, window mode. Then click. You can click on the window, and then the game kind of works. You can press Escape, and we are in the game now. The problem is I uh, can't seem to find a way to make this full screen, so we're just going to quit it and start tweaking this game because the way it's currently running, it's not really a good experience. So back on the desktop. There we go. So we go into our Tomb Raider folder and we actually do have to change something in DOSBox. Um, it's using, I forgot the name, it's using a 3DFX Glide uh, emulator, but we're gonna replace that with NGlide. So just head to the NGlide website. I'm gonna put it down below in the video and download the uh, setup. And I'm gonna copy it and just paste it into the DOSBox folder that comes with the Tomb Raider games. Now. I use uh, 7-zip, if you don't have that, it's it's a free download, I highly recommend installing it. And then you can just say extract here. It's going to overwrite two files, glide2x.dll, say yes to that, and d3fx splash screen, also say yes to that. Um, then we're going to run the nglide config. Make sure this is set to whatever uh, system resolution or monitor resolution you have. In my case, it's a 920 by 1080 screen. Change the aspect ratio to 4 by 3 so that the image is correctly uh, in the correct 4 by 3 aspect ratio. Everything else you can leave on, but do change the gamma correction. The game is a little bit too bright by default. I like 0.7, but you can play around with some of the other settings. Okay. And there's more to be tweaked in the Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider folder. We open the DOSBox config file and we need to change the original res resolution to the resolution of our monitor. That takes care of the business being a little thumbnail. Uh, it, it, it'll use the, whole, the entire screen. Um, but we have to tell it to also use the correct aspect ratio so we don't get the uh, stretched widescreen version. Um, so we set this to true. And the only other thing I recommend tweaking is the sound. Change that to 48,000 uh, for the mixer sample rate and the same thing for the sound blaster. So let's save that and we should be ready to go. So let's run it and see if it's any better. There you go, the videos um, are full screen, they're using the entire screen, but have the correct aspect ratio. Let's press escape. We should get a nice big uh, 3 dfx splash screen. Here we go, the color's a little bit uh, darker, so not as washed out as bright as before. And also it's using the entire screen. Let's see if the second video clip um, plays. There it is, that's also working. And here we are in the game, so nice 4 by 3 aspect ratio using the uh, entire space of our screen and working as it should okay so we're done here um, thanks for watching uh, as always hit the like button subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so uh, spread the word uh, share what i'm doing check out my website philscomputerlab.com lots of interesting things going on there